In this video, we'll hear a little bit about what it's like to be a student at Mohawk College. My name's Amanda. I'm the manager of Indigenous Student Services here at Mohawk College. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario. I'm First Nations Ojibwe Bear Clan with family from Manitoulin Island. I've been at the college for just over 10 years. Growing up, I didn't know a lot about my culture. So starting to work at the college is where I really began, where I really began to learn a lot more. As part of my role as manager, um, we're really here to support students with their educational journey. Some of the services that Indigenous Student Services offers are our coaches who are here to help students who are incoming students navigate all of the processes and procedures while they're on their educational journey. So that includes things like registration, band funding, um, how to change their classes, how to switch out into different programs, um, but also provide referrals to other areas in the college, whether it be financial assistance, um, their student success advisors or anything like that. They're essentially the first point of contact for our students so that they always have someone that they can drop in with and ask any questions and be able to get the support that they need. We're able to take real-time feedback from our students. So if there's something that they're looking for from us or something that would really be helpful for them, they're able to connect with our coaches through drop-in sessions or just informal drop-ins um, and share some of what they need. Um, and we're able to respond to that. So essentially our role here is to help students um, on their educational journey, whether from coming into college, throughout their entire time here, and then transitioning out. My first uh, big project that I worked on was Pathfinder. So Pathfinder is a really incredible program to um, welcome in students from all different areas. Um, we get students from Hamilton, Brantford, Six Nations, uh, Mississaugas of the Credit, um, and even beyond there from Barrie and Toronto as well. Uh, and we welcome these students in to get to know the uh, college experience, to see what it's like firsthand, to stay in residence, to attend classes, um, and to learn about their culture at the same time. And that was a really incredible project close to my heart because it, it kind of helped me along a little bit too. And the great part about that program is allowing students to build relationship with the staff that work on the program as well as their peers so that when they do decide to attend post-secondary, um, whether it's at Mohawk College or somewhere else, um, they have those skills and those connections already with them to be able to uh, connect with each other um, and build community wherever they're at. The Indigenous Student Services Centre is really important because it provides our students with a safe space that they can come to for support amongst their peers and to be able to build that community at college um, with like-minded folks. And it really allows them to be able to see themselves reflected in the college community when they're able to see the wampum wall or they're able to see us having a feast or doing crafts or different things like that. It's a safe space, it's very welcoming. And we want to ensure that we're supporting our students in the best way that we can with whatever they need. My name is Caroline. I'm from the Seneca Nation from Hamilton. And I'm currently in the Mental Health and Disability Management Program. Hi, my name is uh, Serenity. I'm returning back to college after 20 years. I took um, mental health and addictions and I'm returning back here for, to study education in my second year. My name is Kayla Sunshine. I am Cree from Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation in Alberta. I graduated from Mohawk in 2017 in the Health, Wellness and Fitness program. Uh, I'm happy to be here with you all, Mila. Hello everyone, my name is Tanya Terry Ann Noel, also known as Sunshine. <laughs> um, I am from the East Coast. I am Mi'kmaq and Métis. I'm currently in the Indigenous Studies pathway. So I'm doing two years here and then I'm going to go over to McMaster and get uh, a combined bachelor's degree over there in Indigenous Studies. Hi everyone, my name is Aria. I am a recent graduate of Mohawk College's Recreation Therapy Program. I know my time here at Mohawk has been quite extensive. I've been able to work at alumni, student services. I've worked here at the Indigenous Student Center. I've worked for the Mohawk Students Association. I've done work with the Sustainability Office. The Indigenous uh, Education and Student Services Center has created this opportunity and this space where people can um, even just like engage with their culture. Yes be supported, but also maybe just be introduced to it. And I think that that's an amazing thing. When I was 14, I was starting high school and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I started in the Pathfinder Youth Program. I attended for about four years. It introduced me to Mohawk. So comfortable with the staff, so comfortable with the campus. So it was just like really amazing. And 
I love that program so much. <laughs> Being at Mohawk has really helped me on my path to healing. Mm. And I just wouldn't be where I am without it. Even though I was scared, every single person here is on their own journey of education yes. and becoming more of themselves. I was raised on Nipissing Reserve. Um, but my dad is Cayuga, so I really don't know much about my own culture. And having myself come down here to be a surrounded by other people from the Six Nations area really kind of helps me. A lot of us Aboriginal students coming from reservations, we, we um, experience a lot of culture shock. It's different, right, to adjusting to new ways and new ways of learning. Coming to Mohawk has been a true blessing for me. It's changing my life because there's a lot of supports in this college. Everywhere you look, there's someone there to support you. If you mention that you have an issue, you know, often the response is, oh, have I can help you? Or have you spoken with this person because they're really good at helping with that or they can connect you with this? I think um, IESS is doing, like, a great job with connecting um, students to the community as well because they work with HRIC Um, they share different resources throughout the city and different communities and it's really great to just have that one of my favorite places on campus is the hoop dance just because I have so many like great memories there there was one summer where we learned how to make traditional corn soup uh, in the fire there we've had a lot of traditional fires Um, I also experienced my first sunrise ceremony there and it was one of like the most amazing experiences ever. Yeah, I think college like Mohawk is is important because it has programs like this. It has, you know, spaces like this and it has further programs for youth. If you're interested in in going to college, you're interested in going to uh, Mohawk um, and you're worried about funding, there's funding out there. Speak to the faculty here at, you know, at the school and they'll help you. They'll help you get on that path and help you find the funding, find the resources that you need. Um, just don't give up. I think ultimately uh, the staff here at IESS are doing an amazing job to prepare us not only for, you know, life after post-secondary, but you know, life as a student, mm-hmm. life in the community, and they kind of just meet you where you're at and they get you to where you want to go. Mm-hmm. And isn't that what college is all about? Mm-hmm.